It's an honor, and it's also could be a little bit an ambiguous award in the sense that uh, you're not sure exactly why you're funny. I mean, is it funny because I mean to be, or is it funny like, you know, haha, uh-huh. <laughs> look at look at him. Um, but no, it's it's, it's an honor. Um, I think it means that students are enjoying being in my classroom. <laughs> I guess one way to think about it is if you could turn the classroom inside out, it really helps. And by inside out, what I mean is in a typical classroom, the teacher is very active. They're talking, they're at the board, they're moving around, they're the one that's doing all of the active work, and everybody else is fairly passive. So if you can turn that inside out where the students are the ones that are active and the professor or the teacher is more of a facilitator for that, that's really ideal. Um, so that's where the Socratic thing comes in and it's where some of the humor comes in. So instead of me, like if we read something, instead of me coming in and saying, here's what we read, I'll say, guys, you know, uh, I was out partying last night and uh, man, I don't really like this book, it kind of sucks. So uh, I didn't read it. So you tell me, what, what did it say? And then it's all on them, and for me, my job is to like get them to practice handling thought and information by, by telling me. But when you when I interact with them like that, that one-on-one interaction, um, it's more like a conversation. And I think a lot of the humor comes out naturally there because if you're relaxed and you're hanging out with your friends and you're just talking back and forth, you're without trying to be funny, you'll find occasions to make a pun or make fun of somebody or just joke around, right? So that conversational style, I think, lends itself to, to 